hey everyone welcome to my channel again so today i'm going to show you how we can upgrade our merlin firmware to version 2.0 using uh, visual studio code microsoft visual studio code so let's get started so here you can see on the screen itself i had uh, shown you all the steps that you had you need to complete like uh, i had i had uh, just separated all the steps in seven seven simple steps that you have to follow and uh, you will able to upgrade your 3d printer to the latest uh, version of Marlin so okay let's let's start it so the first thing that uh, we have to download the Marlin firmware files so uh, to download this Marlin firmware files what you have to do is uh, there is a description in this video you just go in the description of this video and it will, it will able to get the link from where you can download the Merlin, Merlin firmware files and once you have downloaded these files uh, just uh, save it uh, somewhere on your computer that's it and for the next step is to download and install the visual studio code so let's see how we can download and install visual studio code so first i will open the google here so i will just open google like this and i will write here visual studio code vs code like this so this is the first website we are getting uh, is for the visual studio code so i will just click on the downloads here here you can see we can see the multiple versions of vs code here for different pc and different operating systems so mine is windows and uh, it's 64 bit windows so i will just click on here on the 64 bit windows and here you can see it is saying me that thanks for downloading so my download has been started so here you can see uh, my visual studio code has been downloaded so i will just um, make a right click here to open that file and i will try to install this software so here you can see it is just taking a small bit of time in running so we'll wait for that that will be just few seconds only so here you can see so here you can, I, I just have to click on here to i accept the agreements and then i will click on next here and i will keep this folder as a default this is the folder where it is going to be installed all the files are going to be uh, saved there so i will just click on next here and yes it is visual studio code so i will just click on next here again and I, I will not change anything i will just click on here to create a desktop icon and i will click on next again and now i will just click on install so here you can see it is just installing so it will take just another few seconds to uh, install this visual studio code on my windows pc it is 64 bit windows 7 pc so uh, if you have some different pc if you have mac or something else you can just uh, download the version that is compatible with your pc or the windows so here you can see it has been downloaded and since here it is ticked that launch visual studio code i will just click on finish here and it will it will just first launching my visual studio code here so uh, here you can see this is the screen we first uh, we are first getting on uh, when we are first installing this uh, Visual Studio Code. So we had just completed the step 2 of our uh, steps that we had created uh, to download and install Visual Studio Code. So uh, we'll just go on to the next step. The next step is to download the uh, plugins. So there are two plugins. One is Platform IO plugin and other is the Merlin Auto Build plugin. So we are going to install both the plugins. So first I will uh, install this Platform IO plugin. So I will go on here. I, here you can see uh, on the extension so by default i can see my plugins has been installed if it is if it is not installed so here you can see platform io and Mer auto build merlin both are already installed on my pc uh, uh, since previously i had uh, this visual studio code and i i do have this plugins I, but i had uninstalled this visual studio code and today i had again downloaded it and installed so maybe the files are still there in the uh, my installation folder that's why uh, they are here but uh, when you will first install the, this, these two plugins will not be there so what you have to do is just click on this extension here and then click on here to search for your plugins like uh, platform io we can write platform io plugin platform io so here you can see this is the first uh, plugin we are getting this is the symbol that shows this is platform io id plugin so i will just click on here i will click on install here since it's already installed so i'm not going to change this thing and uh, in the same manner we can just install this merlin auto build plugin so here you can see this is my merlin auto build plugin so this plugin i also have to install but uh, i already have this installed so that's why it is showing here to uninstall this one so uh, here the icon shows that i already have the install once we have now completed the the step 
completed the step number uh, three and four uh, you will see the these two icons here on your uh, uh, this visual studio code so i will just close these two things and the next thing that if you are not seeing this window here what you have to do is just click on go on to view here then go to appearance and click on this show sidebar or show activity bar so you will be able to see these things here so uh, this is as simple as uh, any other software and so we'll move on to our next step so the next step is to uh, uh, we have to bring on our uh, malin firmware files and compile uh, those files in the vs code so uh, this we are going to try now so here you can see i had just saved my uh, marlin firmware file so this is my marlin firmware file so here you can see what i will do uh, this is the file i had downloaded from the link and what i will do i will just make a right click and uh, i will uh, extract those files so i will click on extract all i will click extract here so it will be extracted on the same location it will take few time since uh, uh, this Malin firmware files i had made some changes inside that and this is for the stock table turn into 3d printer for now and also there is one more thing uh, for the hot end i had changed it changed it to e3d kind of hot end so if you have some different kind of hot end then you have to make a uh, small changes there as well like you have to change your kind of hot end you have kind kind of thermistor you have but uh, this firmware uh, firmware is for the stock table turn into 3d printer with e3d hot end so here you can see I had extracted my folder uh, on my desktop here. So this is the file I downloaded from the link on the description in the video. And then I had extracted this folder uh, here on my desktop. So I will just again uh, now I will just launch my Visual Studio Code. So I, I because I had just closed it. So I will just launch it. So here you can see uh, it is already having my uh, auto build Merlin icon, but it is not having the other icon of my extension so here it is so it, the, both are ready now so what i will do i will just go on file i will click on the open folder here i will select my folder i will go on to my desktop here you can see and this is my folder i will just click that i will click on select folder so here it is so inside that we got all our files like uh, if i go on inside this marlin folder we'll we'll see our configuration dot underscore adv dot h file and again we got this configuration dot h file so these are both the files where we ha we had made changes for uh, to work this firmware for table turn tool 3d printer with e3d settings e3d hot end settings so here it is so we'll just leave it like this now the next step for us to uh, we have to compile this firmware uh, okay so to compile this firmware what i have to do is to click on this auto build merlin here and here you can see the currently uh, it is saying me that the currently open folder does not contain a merlin 2x project to use this extension so i will click on here to open merlin file again i will go on to folder i will select this folder here now and i will click on select folder and we'll see what happens so here you can see the new folder has been selected now i will click on this mer this build option here and we'll click on this auto build so it is not giving me all the settings so i think we are selecting some wrong folder here now again we'll go back one step and we'll select this complete folder here and we'll see what happens so it will also happen uh, with you also sometimes but you, you have to figure out the things so the things will work with you correctly so here you can see the moment i had selected the correct folder and uh, it is giving me all the information inside uh, my firmware file so here you can see it is merlin uh, 2.0 and it has been configured by jim brown uh, from the github and then i had changed this to uh, uh, my printer settings then it is giving me the machine name with two extruder but I, I just have a single extruder so don't worry about that if you don't have the second extruder it will not work then we got this uh, board information it is mks gen l it is correct then we got the pins information we got uh, our uh, microprocessor information here and then we got two environments here so in most of the cases we are going to use this mega 2560 so we'll click on the build here and we'll wait uh, if the firmware compiles correctly so uh, if, if it is compiled correctly we'll see a success message here at the bottom so we'll wait for that 
uh, so I think we are just uh, about to finish the, the compiling process. So here you can see we just got the success message here. This means that uh, this firmware files has been compiled successfully and here it is giving me some uh, memory information. So we don't have to care about that. We, we just have to care about that it is successful. So it will work on our 3D printer. So our, uh, if we go to our steps, we had just completed our uh, uh, fifth step that is compiling the firmware files in VS code. So the next thing is that we have to connect your 3D printer to PC via USB cable. So this I'm going to show you how we can connect our PCB to uh, uh, our PCB to computer or PC uh, via USB cable. Now I will connect one end of the USB cable to my computer. And other end of my USB cable to my 3D printer motherboard. As soon as I plug my USB cable to my 3D printer motherboard, you can see there is a light blinking here. This means my USB cable is connected to my 3D printer as well as my computer. So now here you can see we had just completed our sixth step that we had connected our PC via USB cable to our 3D printer motherboard. So we are now ready to move on to the last step that is finally update our firmware files that we are going that the file that we had compiled in Visual Studio Code that we are going to upload in uh, our 3D printer motherboard. So for that we'll come back to our Visual Studio Code here. So here you can see this is our uh, compiled file. So we got an upload click here. So I just have to click on here to click on upload and the moment it will starting to upload the firmware files to my motherboard and when it is done it will give me a success message at the bottom so here you can see we got the success message this means that we had just finished uploading the new firmware files to our 3d printer motherboard so now we are done we can just go and turn on our 3d printer and we can enjoy 3d printing the new things and still if you have any confusion or anything like that or if you have any uh, questions you can just comment below in the video you can also read my detailed blog you just have to search 3 dash on the internet and here is the website detail you will find this blog about this complete process and uh, if if you will able to comment on these videos or, or on my blog i will able i will try to solve you i will try to help you with uh, with the process thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video have a good day thank you